This reminds me of when Trump lost his uh, trial against uh, Carol uh, for rape, had to pay five million dollars, and then went on TV and said she was lying, defamed her a second time, and got sued a second time. Uh, Giuliani is being sued by the same Georgia elect election workers for making uh, defamatory remarks about them after the verdict. He's going to lose a second time. He's already required to pay them almost $150 million. Now it's going to be probably another $150 million he's going to have to pay them. Former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani is facing a new lawsuit, this one from the same two former Georgia election workers who just won nearly $150 million from him in a defamation suit last week. In this new suit, Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shea Moss are asking a federal judge to permanently bar Giuliani from making further defamatory statements about them. NBC. Yeah, do that. Bar, um, put a gag, a, like permanent gag order on him about uh, defaming these election workers and then make them pay another $150 million to them and then put them in jail for a little bit. See News Justice reporter Ryan Riley joins us now with the latest on this. Hey, Ryan, good morning. So this all stems from comments that were made by Giuliani immediately after last week's verdict, that $150 million one. Tell us exactly what Moss and Freeman want now from this new lawsuit. Yeah, essentially, they just want this to stop, right? Rudy Giuliani really couldn't seem to help himself last week. Every time he saw a camera, he was making some comments saying that his original comments were supportable. It wasn't quite as extreme. Yeah, this is because Rudy Giuliani is a mush brain and he's literally insane. As he was making the claims back in 2020, but he was saying what he said in 2020 was all true, and it's not. It's false. It's been adjudicated already by the court, but he still was continuing to make these claims. So basically, now they're seeking an injunction. Just try. How was he ever like considered one of like America's greatest lawyers when he has no understanding of the law whatsoever? There has to be an issue with their justice. Them if a dude like this is considered a great lawyer. Trying to make this end. They tried to reach an agreement with Rudy Giuliani directly, and he would not agree to stop making these claims against them, so they ended up bringing forth this litigation. So is Giuliani responding to this new lawsuit at all? You know, he hasn't, but if we listen to what he just what he had to say, he hasn't in substance, I should say. He said, you know, his statement, his uh, his spokesperson put out a statement saying that this is the same rate Rudy Giuliani who took down the mob, who was, you know, obviously the mayor during 9-11, et cetera. But nothing really in substance uh, to respond to the allegations because no one wants to get sucked into those muddy waters, right? The spokesperson isn't going to say that, yes, these claims are true because the spokesperson knows those claims are false. And Rudy Giuliani just really can't seem to help him. Yeah, and the, the spokesperson uh, starts making defamatory remarks about the election workers. He is going to get sued, and he knows he will lose. Oh, since Rudy lost himself every time he goes in front of the cameras. As we heard last week, uh, just take a listen. I told the truth. They they were engaged in changing votes. There's no proof of that. Oh, you're damn right there is. Stay tuned. Right, that's hilarious. He claims there's proof of it, and then immediately leaves. Yeah, there's. I got proof. Stay tuned for my on my supposed proof of this. It's hilarious. This dude is dumb. You can see in the background the spokesperson there sort of trying to shuffle him off. Okay, Rudy, let's get in the car here, right? It's almost like he has a minder with him um, here, but he still just sort of goes off the rails and makes these claims that anyone, you know, capable of using some critical thinking skills realizes are not true. Ryan, immediately after yesterday's filing, the attorney from Moss. Yeah, the fact that he's been an unable to provide any actual proof whatsoever since the start of any of his uh, election claims. It's how many times did he go to court and get struck down for lying and having no evidence? Many, many times, just like many of the other right wingers who tried to sue over their deluded uh, election lie claims and loss. Austin Freeman asked the judge to let them pursue this $140 million judgment from Giuliani. How does that work and how soon would they, could they begin receiving payment? Yeah, well, the problem is, is that Rudy Giuliani doesn't have a lot of assets at this point, and no one's really going to be hiring him, obviously, for um, his, his, his legal skills, I suppose, because... They can still 
um, liquidate any of his assets after seizing them and provide these two workers with some type of money. He had like a six million dollar penthouse suite or something that he's selling. Uh, yeah, liquidate that property and give these people their reward. He's barred from practicing at the moment. Um, you know, he's uh, he so he has this he has a show uh, on a uh, I guess he has a on a program on a cable news uh, program. He has that radio show. Those are his income streams at this point. So I think that's probably what they're going to be going after here. But you know, he doesn't. It's not like he's sitting on a bunch of assets. He's selling his uh, his New York home, um, and also there's a lien against his property uh, in Florida. So you know, it is going to take a while I think for this process to play out. And obviously, Rudy Giuliani uh, uh, plans on appealing this verdict. Um, so